Lining up for life-saving, these Bangladeshi children are about to get an unusual lesson in immunization. But instead of getting jabs and medicine, they're going down to the pond for a swim. I am teaching them so that they can benefit in the future. I'm giving them a vaccine against death so that they do not die because of drowning. Bangladesh has done so well with treating and vaccinating against other big killers of children like diarrhea, measles and malnutrition that deaths from drowning have been hidden. Now it's emerged that more children die from drowning in Bangladesh than anywhere else in the world. 17,000 Bangladeshi children die each year simply because they cannot swim. Water is everywhere in this country of massive rivers, deltas, rice paddies and ponds. With climate change, extreme weather patterns, flooding and rising sea levels, UNICEF and partners are in a race against time to teach more Bangladeshi children to save their lives and others by swimming. Some estimates uh, are that if uh, the sea level were to rise over the next century by one meter, uh, a third or more of Bangladesh could come underwater. So what we are doing now, we are preempting a situation for five, seven years down the road. So far, about 35,000 children have been taught to swim in five years across the country. Countless others taught to save. They're taught not to risk leaping in themselves, but rather find a stick or pole and rescue the drowning child. So they may not turn out to be Olympic swimmers, but they're getting a lesson for life and saving others' lives. Old and literate children reading about preventing death from injury, community workers learning songs warning about the dangers of drowning, and little ones learning through play and song, all building bonds for a safer future. This is Sarah Crow in Sirajganj district, Bangladesh. Unite for children.